Let's learn how to import a schema to create a database in our Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio Express with Tools. Uh, since we have the Express version, we're not going to worry about doing a restore. And this time, we're just going to take some SQL statements that allow us to create databases, tables, and insert data. And you'll need to use this schema for working with your projects. Uh, if you go out to Learning Suite and go to your Project 1, you'll see that there's a part that says Import the Student Schema. And here's a file that you can download. If you click on that file, it downloads the schema over here. It's a SQL file. I'll click on that. And since it's a SQL statement, it will go ahead and try to associate the file that works with SQL, which in our case is our SQL Server. If it doesn't automatically work for you that way, then what you'll need to do is open that file up in Notepad or a some text editor and copy the SQL statements and you'll just create a new query and I'll show you how to do that also. When we first open up our SQL Server it asks us which server we want to connect to. We'll go ahead and connect to our SQL Express that we created in a couple videos ago. Click Connect and we want to go ahead and create. There we go. We connected to that server and notice it went ahead and brought in the SQL schema that we downloaded. And all we'd have to do is now run that schema. So if I clicked Execute, before I do that, I'm going to show you what databases I have. And this one says you're going to go create a database called Student. And notice we terminate each SQL statement with the semicolon. And then uh, we'll use that database. And then we're going to go ahead, and if tables are out there, they'll drop those tables. So this allows us to reinstall a database also. And then it will just start creating tables. And then after it creates tables, we'll do that for quite a while. Then it starts creating indexes, which we'll learn later on this semester. And then it starts inserting data into the tables. So once we have a schema ready to go, we'll go ahead and click Execute. And it's going to run that schema, and you'll see down here it's executing the query. And since that um, database has never created, been created before, let's take a look at these messages. Here are our error messages. They're in red. Cannot drop the table, cannot drop the table, cannot drop the table. So that's our biggest problem, but that implies to us maybe it didn't happen. Well, as we scroll down, it talks about other rows being affected. So let's come back over here to Databases. We'll right mouse click on it and let's click Refresh. And it brought that database in. So even though you saw some error messages, those error messages were simply saying, I can't drop the table because it's not there. But then it just starts going through and doing all the work. Let's see if we have tables in there. We do have tables. And let's see if we have data in there. I, I click right mouse click and we'll just go ahead and bring back the top thousand rows and there is data there so it looks like that schema worked now if you didn't have a connection with uh, the .sql file to where it didn't open up automatically for you then what you're going to need to do is open that file up in a text editor and then you would simply come into here and click new query and you'd paste that data that sql schema into here and then you just click Execute. And if you have any questions, just get with myself or the TAs. We can help you out. By the time you're done, you should have another database, and this time it's called Student.